Yo, what is going on guys? It is Riot with Riot Tech and today we have a different video. We're not doing a review video. I really just wanted to share my top picks for 2023. I know other reviewers have shared similar um, videos and so I really just wanted to go through my top picks for 2023. So let's get into it. All right. So ultimately I don't want to spend too much time like I would on a review. So I really have a couple of main focuses. So I have my favorite control pad, my favorite hybrid pad, my favorite speed pad, as well as my go-to ambi mouse, my go-to ergo mouse and a special mouse. Um, for the year. So starting off with the control pads, I wanted to first talk about the Saturn Pro. Um, I do have another pad just because I figured that most are going to pick the Saturn Pro because just like a GPX, this is a very safe pad for any game that you want to play. This pad is so incredibly good that if you picked up a Saturn Pro, there's really no use for anything else if you're looking for a control pad. So obviously there is a little bit of difference in terms of preference, whether you want something a little bit more muddy, less muddy, whether you want it to be super slow in the glide or a little bit faster. So, I mean, there's still preferences within the control, within control pads, but this is a very, very safe pad and it's an, it's an easy recommend I mean, no matter what game you play. Now, I did have another pad in mind, and that pad is going to be the Pels. So getting into the Pels, um, this is a very good pad. Say what you want about the well, but he had a lot of banger pads come out this year, specifically with the Riz, uh, comparatively to something like a Saturn Pro. It does have a slower glide, but the control you have within this pad, it doesn't have any feedback from the pad. It doesn't have um, that like significant push-in factor that you have from a Saturn Pro. It does give you more control um, whenever you push into a Saturn, and you still somewhat get that with a Pels, but ultimately I don't feel like I really have to push in to this pad because I get everything straight from the surface. Next up, you might see a little bit of the edge I'm going to have to agree with one of my fellow reviewers for my favorite hybrid pad. As you may know, I have used hybrid pads for a very long time. I really started using more, uh, more control focus pads, more speed pads um, throughout this year as I've been reviewing different pads. And when it came to my go-to hybrid pad, it is 100% without a question, the Vagabond. So the Vagabond from Infinity Vice has been an absolute banger. The control that you get from this pad, the speed that you get from this pad, the micro adjusting feel, the control feel, everything about this pad. I mean, even even the graphic. I mean, this this pad has been absolutely incredible. I have loved every single minute using this pad. It is for most of this year since I got it been on my wife's desk and I'm a little salty because this is my favorite hybrid pad and I haven't been able to use it as much as I want to. Granted, I have been testing other pads, so it's probably a good thing that I haven't been stuck on this pad. But at least in terms of, of a hybrid pad, this was incredibly good. If you want something similar, they don't have this pad anymore. The closest thing that you can get to something like this is gonna be the Shogun. Honestly, the Shogun looks really good as well. It's a little bit different in terms of the pad, but it's still pretty close. So if you wanted something similar, I would recommend getting the Shogun. Last but not least, I'm actually gonna drop this for a second. You already saw it, but one of the things that I wanna say, specifically when it comes to speed pads, is I have tended to stray away from speed pads for quite a while. The closest, and I mean absolute closest, that I could get to a speed pad after using the Aqua Control Plus for years was the glorious extended skinny mouse pad. That is probably the closest that I can get to a speed pad because ultimately, again, I tended to lean more towards control pads 
um, or at least more towards uh, hybrid pads with a little bit more focus on control. And that's really how I've really played for, I mean, a good amount of time. Until this year, whenever Kurosen dropped the Ninja Pad, Kurosen was one of the, well, it was the company that showed me the light. The Ninja made me a speed believer. Using this pad for whatever game I play, I feel like a kid on Christmas, right? So, I mean, you're playing, you're playing a game, it's like, it's the very first time, and you're playing, and you're getting crazy, crazy kills, and like, you're super excited, you're like, dang, this is the, the first time I've ever played this game. That is how this pad makes me feel. I'm playing a game, and I have free range to do whatever I want. I have a, a lot more speed, but I still have a significant amount of stopping power and control on this pad. And having that flexibility, I mean, again, coming from someone that's been using a hybrid for a long time, being able to have some something that has a lot more speed than a hybrid, um, but still giving me a lot of stopping power and control opened my mind and opened a, a world of possibilities. There is something to be said about this company, and I am pumped for this 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 year. I am so freaking excited to be able to see the things that they do uh, within this next year because all of you are really going to enjoy what's coming next. So next, I wanted to go into the mice um, that I have for the year. And ultimately it is going to be fairly basic. The first mouse is going to be the, uh, GPX two, at least in terms of having an ambi shape, this is still the safest shape on the market. It's a safe shape. The specs, even though it's only using 2k is incredibly good. The sensor implementation on this mouse as well as the battery life gives this mouse an easy recommend. I'm still not a huge fan of the way that the opticals feel. Um, they have definitely gotten a lot better um, over time. They did still feel a little hollow compared to like any of the other two mice on this desk, which I'm just now recognizing that all three of these mice are using opticals. Again, I mean, this is just a really safe shape, at least in terms of Ambi, it's still the go-to. Uh, in terms of Ergo, I have the Lamsey Thorn. As I said in my initial review, this thing still feels like a pillow in my hand. I freaking love the way that this mouse feels. Lamzu put banger after banger after banger out this year, and I'm honestly really excited to see what they do this upcoming year. Um, they've already been talking about a slightly bigger Maya. They've talked about a different ergo shape outside of the thorn. That would be a mini version, so a mini non-thorn ergo. Uh, well, I mean, we'll see what they do, but I mean, at least in terms of my favorite ergo mice, it is definitely this mouse. Um, similar, I mean, it has a good battery life, good opticals, uh, at least for my copy. And I mean, at least in terms of using it, like I said, at least in terms of comfort from the shape, I mean, we're going to be talking about it. Shape is king. And this is a pillow for my hand. So, I mean, it's my personal recommendation for Ergo Mouse of the year. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about the fake plastic mouse that was never supposed to come out and was supposed to scam everybody. I don't know how this mouse for so long was expected that this was a scam. Uh, ultimately, I think whenever the information about this mouse initially dropped, no one thought that as a brand new company being able to offer m mice and this many colorways was going to be real. Like if you look at any mouse drop, maybe I mean, if you look at Lambsview, if you look at any of the Atlantis, they had three, they added a fourth. If you look at Pulsar, I mean, they've, they started with two and they've kind of added colorways along the line. I mean, there's, there's been so many different versions of the X2 at this point um, that they have a lot, but again, that's taken time. Whereas WL mouse dropped this mouse and had like, what, like eight that you could choose from? and you can do custom right off the bat. So, I mean, honestly, being able to do that much 
when everyone thought that this mouse was a scam. In terms of the way that the opticals feel, there is not a single mouse that I have tried with opticals that have been this light. These, uh, this mouse is very, very good. The sensor implementation is great. The opticals feel incredible. Like there is literally no pre-travel, post-travel whatsoever. Um, I will get into that in my review next week. But um, the one thing that I would say is the battery life is kind of bad. It kind of reminds me of like the HTX whenever it initially dropped. But just like the HTX, I mean, they've had so many different updates this year that, I mean, the battery life on this is way better than it initially dropped. So, I mean, shout out to being able to live in a time in the tech space that you can just upgrade things overnight. All right, so that's all I had for this past year. Those are all of my top picks for 2023. A lot of them are really safe options. You know, I feel like the G GPX, honestly, it's been the safest option for what? five six i don't even know how long now like it's been a safe option for a good while the thorn is very good it's my personal favorite ergo that i tried last last year um, the wl mouse literally came out of nowhere everyone thought it was a scam and it has been dope the pads saturn pro obviously a super easy choice uh, to pick in terms of a control pad you can use that pad for any game you want to play and be set for life literally don't have to use another pad regardless of what you, what you want to play. Uh, the Pels is definitely a little bit slower, but it's still a really good pad. Um, I love the way that it feels in terms of um, really small micro adjusting and really just the, the control that you get from that pad in general. Um, the Vagabond, I love hybrid pads. So that pad is an absolute banger and I love it. And the Ninja is something that really opened my eyes to the light after being the hybrid guy for so long. So all of those pads are really, really good. I've definitely enjoyed using all of them. Um, all three, or I guess all four of those pads flip back and forth on my desk. Again, outside of the Vagabond, because that's been on my wife's desk for most of this past year. But we're not going to go into that. Um, ultimately, whenever it comes to all of those uh, products, they have been extremely good. And I'm, I'm honestly super excited to see what happens this year. Ultimately, I really do feel like there's going to be a big change in this next year. There's so many companies working on products to really add a lot to the space. So I really am excited for this year. Again, all of the pads that I have mentioned, I absolutely love. The mice I use, I absolutely love. If there's anything that you specifically want me to review in this next year, please let me know. Like I mentioned in my last video, everything that I do is for y'all. So if you have anything that you want me to do, anything you want me to review, any questions you have, I am here to help in any way that I can. With that, next week I do have the WL mouse uh, review. I will also be dropping the uh, Pure Track. Uh, p51 samurai review as well um and then friday i will be doing the giveaway so that is just right around the corner again good luck to everyone that entered and with that i will catch you all next week have a good weekend